I'm David Slub III. I'm 48 years old. I'm a professional golfer. Well, I'm proud to be the 2012 Ryder Cup captain. Medina is an iconic golf course in major championship golf. A lot because of the golf course, but a lot because of the clubhouse. It is one of the most amazing places we get to go as golfers uh, to see the history, you know, built back in the 20s. It's an amazing place and a, a special place to get to come to. It's great to represent the United States in a different role. I'm, and I certainly want to be a player's coach. I still feel like I'm a player. I still feel like I can be competitive and I know what they want and I know what they want to do when they're out playing and I want to give them every opportunity to play well. I mainly want to give them the Ryder Cup experience that I was given six times as a player. I want to make sure that my captaincy, those guys get that same feeling of this is a big event and this is an exciting event. It's an adventure we're going on. It's great to be a part of a team. I'm always asked, do you remember your father when you won a golf tournament? Do you remember your father? You know, when your son wins a golf tournament or when you, when you think about being the Ryder Cup captain, and I say, no, I think about my dad every shot I take. It's not just in the good days or not just in the bad days when you miss a cut. I think about him every time I go to work on my game, every time I try to give my son a tip, and every time I watch golf, I think about something my father taught me or told me or showed me in the game, and I can't, I can't play really without him being there. What do you think? Driver today? Yes, yeah, driver, straight down wind, right down the right center. I did know my grandfather, Davis, loved it a little bit. He was a casual golfer, but he instilled in golf into my father, Davis Love Jr., who was a great college player, amateur player, then a tour pro and, and a club pro and teaching pro. So he served about every role in golf. And my brother Mark and I grew up at the golf course every day, and we both wanted to be golfers like our dad when we grew up. Yeah, nice drive there. Now I've found peace. I understand. Um, what he wanted me to do was always to do my best. And whether he's around or not, I still have that in me that I try to, to get better every day and try to be the best that I can be. And I don't have to be the best player in the world or the number one player in the world. I don't have to win every golf term. As long as I'm always learning and having fun and trying to get better, that, that's all he really ever asked. You got 40 and 18 here. You got some wind helping you here, a little downwind, downhill. Downwind, downhill. Yep. That's the stick. You're right. Yeah, playing at Medina in Chicago in front of some of the world's greatest sports fans, playing on U.S. soil, it's not like a major championship. It's not like a regular week on the PGA Tour because there's so much that goes into it, so much around it, so many people watching it. The experience of the entire week is not just the three days of golf. When you leave a Ryder Cup, you think, what an incredible week I had with this team, with, with this, this U.S feeling of sense of pride. And I think you don't really see that any other week, but that's what makes it special. It's like our Super Bowl. It's something different than we don't normally get to do. There's a lot of challenging shots on this golf course. The par threes are hard, a lot of water. 15 now with water. You know, there's a note in the locker room from Sam Snead talking about how difficult the 17th is and how it may have cost him a chance to, to win a major championship here. I know it's cost me a chance to win a major championship here and a lot of other players. Well, the famous 17th at Medina, this hole's always giving me problems. Oh, that one's gonna be in the bunker. Our team is hoping that we can get it done by 14 or 15 so we don't have to play 16, 17, and 18 and go ahead and win our matches early because anything can happen on those last three holes. That's more like it. That's what we're gonna need. A lot of birdie putts. Yep, coming right back down. I think you're always analyzing. You're always trying to get better. You're always trying to learn. Um, I learn things still every week when I go out to play, things that, that work, things that don't work. But the biggest thing is to stay excited, to stay passionate about trying to win. And I think if you're always working and, and searching and trying to get better, then it makes it fun and makes the, the goal still out there ahead of you. Our team is gonna be very, uh, very talented and the fans are gonna be very excited. I would certainly hope you know, and pray that, that we win, but um, ultimately we're gonna, we're gonna represent our country well and we're gonna play hard and we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be, as Tom Watson told me, it's gonna be a great adventure playing a, a Ryder Cup in Chicago at Medina and we'll put up a great fight.
That was a good shot. <laughs>